This is the third video for the handout from chapter 11, and this video is going to teach us how to calculate percentiles or cumulative probabilities. So if we have a value, little x, the percentile function is going to tell us the probability that the random variable takes a value less than or equal to x. And the way that we find this value is by typing in a p for percentile, and then the model name that goes with the probability model that we're using, and then x, the number we're trying to figure out what the probability that the random variable takes a value less than, this little x, and then we put in the parameter that we need for um, whatever distribution we're working with. So for example, um, if we have a hotline that receives calls at an average rate of three per hour, and we want to know what's the probability that the wait time until the next call is less than 15 minutes. Okay, so I have a rate which is measured in calls per hour, and I have a time, 15 minutes, which is measured in minutes. So noting that 15 minutes is equal to one quarter of an hour, or 0 0.25 hours, is going to be important as I'm calculating this percentile. Okay, so I'm going to use P for percentile, and then the time until the next event is modeled with an exponential distribution in many situations. I'm going to use that here. We want to know what's the probability that the time to the next call is going to be less than X. Okay, so X is 15 minutes, but since I've got my rate in hours, I'm going to do 0.25 because 15 minutes is 0.25 hours. And then I need to put in my rate, which is 3 per hour. That, and it tells us down here in our console that the probability that the first call is next call is received in less than 15 minutes is 0.5276 approximately. Okay, so now here are the try it on your own examples and you can stop the video if you like and try working through these and then come in and check on what you're doing. The first one is according to the US Census Bureau 80.6 percent of Vermont households have broadband internet we randomly select 50 Vermont households, and we want to know what is the probability that fewer than 40 of them have broadband internet. Okay, so here I've got to take a look and say, okay, so I'm trying to find the probability that something is less than, so the percentile function is going to be perfect for that. I've got a binomial distribution because I'm randomly selecting households with the same probability of success. So I'm going to do P binome. Okay, now I need to put in the quanti the um, sorry, the value X that I want here. Now the thing is that if I want fewer than 40, the quantile function is always going to tell me the probability that x is less than or equal to x. So if I want to know the probability that x, that it's less than 40, it's not going to be the same as the probability that it's less than or equal to 40. Right? It's going to be the probability that it's less than or equal to 39. So I need to put in 39 here. And then I need to put in my parameters. The size is I randomly selected 50 households, so I've got n equals 50 trials, size equals 50, and I've got p, the probability of success, which I type call prob in R, equal to 0 0.806, and that gives me my probability. Okay, if 
for looking at the heights of 14-year-old girls can be modeled with a normal distribution with a mean of 15.12 meters and a standard deviation of 0 0.04, sorry, 0 0.0741 meters. If we randomly select one 14-year-old girl, what is the probability that she is between 1.55 and 1.6 meters tall? So here I'm going to find the probability first that the girl is less than 1.6 meters tall. So P for percentile, and then I'm using a normal distribution here, so P norm. My value, I want to know probability less than 1.6. And then I need to specify the mean equals 1.512 comma standard deviation SD equals 0 0.0741. And that tells me the probability that a randomly selected 14-year-old girl is less than 1.6 meters tall is 0.8825. Now, some of those girls are also less than 1.55 meters tall. So in order to take those girls away, I need to figure out what proportion of them there are, or what's the probability that the girl I pick will be one of them. So I find P norm of 1.55 and enter the mean. Whoop. I typed something up. I mean equals. Let's see. There we go. Mean equals fix that. Okay, so the probability that a girl is less than or equal to 1.6 meters tall is 0.88. The probability that a girl randomly selected is less than 1.55 meters tall is 0.6959. So if I want to find the probability that a girl's height is in between those two, I can take the difference between them. So I'll copy this one and subtract off this one. And so the probability that a randomly selected 14 year old girl is between 1.55 and 1.6 meters tall is approximately 0.1865. Okay, and then the last um, exercise here is to illustrate how when we're working with a discrete random variable, we can find the probability that exactly a particular number of events occur, or that the random variable takes on an exact value. And the way that we can use the percentile to do this is by noting that when I'm looking at something like the number of hurricanes, the probability that um, I'll just make a note here. So we're looking at the probability that there'll be exactly five hurricanes. So note that the probability that x is less than or equal to five, because there are we're counting things, it's not possible for a value to be less than or equal to. Uh, in between 4 and 5. This would be the probability that x is less than or equal to 4 plus the probability that x is exactly equal to 5. So I can find the probability that x is exactly equal to 5 by taking the probability that x is less than or equal to 5, and then subtracting off the probability that x is less than or equal to 4. And to do this with r, what that means is that I need to take the percentile 
here we've got a Poisson distribution. So P, P, O, I, S is my function for the Poisson percentile. I'm starting, I want to find the probability that X is equal to 5. It's probably that it's less than or equal to 5. So 5 would be my value to put in here. And I need to tell it the parameter for the lam uh, lambda for my Poisson distribution, 5.5. And then I subtract off the probability that x is less than or equal to 4. That's my Poisson percentile again. This time with 4 as the value I'm less than or equal to. And again, I need my lambda equals 5.5. And this will tell me the probability that x is exactly equal to 5. So in a Poisson distribution with lambda equal to 5.5, the probability that x equals 5 is 0.17, and the probability that there will be exactly 5 hurricanes next year is approximately 0.17, or 17%. I hope these videos have helped you work through the handout. Have a good day, and I will talk to you soon.